You know, based on our experience, what we see in the field, mm -hmm. at the top end, flat out, wide open throttle. The difference in peak horsepower between a well-sorted batch fire setup and a well-tuned sequential setup is often surprisingly small. Really? Minimal difference? Often, yeah. When you're demanding maximum fuel flow, just getting enough volume in there quickly becomes the main challenge. And the super fine timing nuances of sequential tend to matter less right at peak power. Okay, what about fuel economy then? In a performance car, maybe one that sees some street driving, is sequential noticeably better? The real efficiency benefits of sequential injection, they mostly show up at lower speeds, part throttle cruising, the kind of conditions where emissions regulations are strictest. Ah, okay. Which kind of leads back to why sequential became so widespread in the first place, doesn't it? It was mainly about emissions, wasn't it? That was a huge driver, yes. Yeah. Meeting those increasingly tight environmental standards, especially with things like unburnt hydrocarbons during gentle driving, that's where sequential really shines from an OEM perspective. That precise time delivery helps ensure cleaner combustion under those conditions. Right. For users who want that finer level of control, maybe they are concerned about part throttle behavior or emissions, or they just want the most advanced capability. 